Hi everyone, Davin Hoyt here. I hope I find you well. Uh, today is a very exciting day for me. I'm about to show you what I've been working on. These are the, or this is the Wafati um, in 3D. Um, it is in a SketchUp file, and I have taken two-dimensional screenshots, and I will show you and run through those real fast, and I will post everything up to permies.com. Um, as you may know, I spent the month of August up at Wheaton Labs and studied the Wolfatis, and now it is late January that I'm finally able to finish all the portions of the Wolfati in a three-dimensional format. Uh, these are not construction technical drawings uh, just yet, but I can totally do that um, after having a few conversations with Paul and, and seeing what is uh, viable. Uh, to make sure that I'm not just brain farting um, like I have before on this same project. So, let me run through a little bit, show you a little bit. Uh, here is the Wafati on the hillside. And what you want is for the, the water to drain both sides of the Wafati and not actually take straight on to the structure. Inside of here we have uh, two composite walls. I would call them capping walls. And our wing walls are underneath the mound so that they can have moisture protection. I'm going to turn off this extra light. And we've got a, um, a round hobbit door hobbit-like entry, and we have um, steps on the higher hillside. So zooming in, the section cut, composite wall was taken away. This is your section. So now we're starting with a, um, a blank slate, okay? So we've got the initial um, we've got the initial uh, foundation layers put on, so the appropriate depth of soil. Then we put in a moisture barrier, then we put in a duff layer on top of that, then we put on another moisture layer, and then a soil layer, eight inches. And so this is going to be the front porch and this is going to be the back porch, if you will. Now we're making holes for the poles. Holes for the poles. Then we've got uh, the base for the composite wall. Put the poles in, poles in. And then here on the back side we, we need to make a retaining wall. We've got our moisture on the back side retaining wall. Then we put in the beams. We put in more beams, then another set of beams, and some stairs to help us uh, later in the, in the project of construction. Then we've got retaining walls left and right. These would be considered your wing walls. So we've got straight ring walls. Then we've got girders or uh, planks that are, that are going on um, in a shed format, both uh, front and back. Then we need to uh, allow the moisture to flow over the top of the ridge that we're putting around the uh, hobbit hole entries for moisture and for uh, retaining soil. Then we've got the shed on the main portion of the structure. Then we've got, oops, then we've got moisture on the outside retaining walls moisture barrier on the uh, the front and back and what Paul is using at Wheaton Labs is polyethylene uh, left over from billboard uh, can, well when they take down billboards the material that is used is polyethylene um, then we're going to put in another layer uh, or another um, amount of wood to cap off the, uh, the hobbit hole entries and then we're going to put a moisture layer on top of the main shed roof. Duff layers. I'm not exactly sure how you're going to keep those vertical. 
um, but duff layer uh, covering the wing walls, not the middle portion. Remember, because we want thermal inertia in, in the middle area. Then we're going to put soil on top of that because we want that to um, connect down to the earth's temperature, right? Then we put the duff layer. The duff layer, it's, it's wood right now, but it could be all sorts of airy, dry material. Then we put the moisture to seal it in there. Moisture barrier. Then we put more soil just to hold everything down in these corners. Then we put another moisture barrier layer in order to have the rain shed shed away from the wafati. Then we put on our topsoil layer. Now I've just section cut it and now we're going to go and we're going to look at how the composite wall is constructed. First we have to put a moisture layer at the, at the base of the uh, composite wall because there's going to be a, um, a footer of some sort, a seal to connect to and we don't want that underneath the ground and getting moist. Then we're going to build it in. So I think what I did was I just said, okay, this is wood and straw. Then we're going to put a um, moisture barrier on, on the front of that. And then we're going to put glass in. And then we're going to, whenever I say glass here and glass here, it's this flipped on the other side. So there's a glass window here and on the far side there's a glass window with a door over here. Um, so the glass and then we'll plank the front side. I'm just guessing this is what's um, wanting to happen because that's what happened at Wafati Point 8. <clears throat> and then we, um, we take the section away and this is what it looks like from the front. And then there's Paul. What do you think, Paul? So this is um, this is a scale of of basically the size of this thing. It's it's not that big, but it's got a covered front and back, and um, and it has enough living area on the interior. So I believe that this is a simplified um, wafati with simple shed roofs. And I believe that this is, um, this is sufficient for um, what we're looking at here in Montana uh, underneath the acronym WOFATI. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, it's been a lot of fun working on this. And um, it's, it's, kind of been, it's kind of been hard uh, to stay focused, uh, working alone at a distant land. But um, it's, it's well worth it uh, because I know you people at permies.com are just going to love this. So I will talk to you later and look for the files on permies.com. Again, my name is Davin Hoyt, and that is my name on the forum. Talk to you guys later. Bye.